Well, here I am sitting in my home at Green Lane looking for a bit of business. And there's the Holden. Doing quite nicely, thank you very much. And it's it's the the third of October and it's what time is that? 18.34, Saturday the 3rd of October. Well, I've done one job. <sighs> I was $50 shy of my record this time last week. A bloody good night that was, mind you. I had two trips from uh, Pukekohe to Auckland, which is like 100 and, 172 bucks each way. Well, there's uh, an extra couple of extra few dollars coming on because it's a bit of traffic. I sort of worked out, because on the night rate it's dearer, which kicks in after 7 o'clock, an extra few dollars or something, but anyway, so yeah, it was about 180 up and 180 back, because, yeah, good night. But on top of that, I was flat out pretty well all night, didn't stop. You know, I got a sixty a $61,000 motor car when it's brand new, it was two years old and done, oh look, a job. Two years old and getting on uh, for a hundred thousand k now. He pushes them out sooner. Where's that going from? Hill Park. What for? What the hell is that? Where's kind of Botany Downs? Anyway, um, I got half an hour to get there. But they've um, I've got this this big motor car and what irritates the hell out of me as happened last night some arsehole gets in there's five or four of them sorry four seat belts they get in and the one in the front pissed as far it's one o'clock in the morning they've come out of a wedding function and they want to go to kfc drive through translates means four of them want to sit in this car and eat kfc because the food was crap at the wedding do that doesn't happen in this car. I don't care how old they are, how much they're worth, or whatever. Because as soon as I drop them off, I'm going to get a beep, and I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be picking up a bride and groom. Or I'll be picking up somebody I profile. And they'll get in here, and there'll be fries on the floor, and it'll stink at KFC. So it doesn't happen. I don't let people in here with booze. If they want to come in here with bottles of booze, or a crate, or a keg, or one bottle, whatever. They're in the front. Uh, the booze goes in the back, and that's it. And there's a bloody co-op. You might give me arseholes for doing video. There you go. No, it didn't. It's gone straight past. Still, <coughs> that's one of the crack cabs in town. Um, competition, if you like. They're more sort of middle of the road. We're sort of the niche, the niche higher. But, you know. But there's a Kiwi expression called Hooray Henry's. And they... Um, Usually a Hooray Henry is a, a, a higher educated, you know, been to private school. Hooray Henry, he's, he's been to private school, he's an upper class, educated, opinionated oik when he's had a few drinks. That's a Hooray Henry. Hooray Henry actors are the same, they're the girls. You get a few of those in here, but you just get a bit assertive with them and tell them to behave themselves. But it's a Saturday night and I'll be picking up people from restaurants, stinking of garlic and wine and beer and if yes, they want to go through KFC drive throughs that doesn't happen. Not with this car. Okay. I've got to go do this job. I think that's pretty much all for now. Oh, Kirsten's in Perth. She's out there seeing her biological mother. So it's just me and the daughter at home. She's out doing her thing, seeing grandma and going out and clubbing and I've gone to work. I'll have a couple of I'll have a couple of days off next week, I think. I might go for a drive somewhere, go and see some friends down the line, take the dogs out. Okay, catch you later.